Poppin' his hand, I'm going to say She pullin' up, she give me brains I swear to God, I need the cash I really don't care about none of the fame She touch me, she's bitch, you the man I'm looking away cause I don't love a thing When I seen her last week with my man These bitches, man, they really all be the same Poppin' his hand, I'm going to say Oh, what's good, Dream Team, man? It's your boy, Dream CEO. We back with another video, man. And today, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me take the headphones off real quick, because you already know how does this game get. We're glitching in the Minecraft. But today, I have a very special video for y'all today, man. Um, it's actually a pretty, a video that I don't really see on YouTube, you feel me? Like, a video that people, a topic that people don't really talk about, you feel me? And today, I'm here to help y'all out if... Y'all are fade players, bro. If y'all have a play shot that has like at least 85 or 3 up, or you have a sharp shooter facility or a chest, and I want to be able to fade and grit every single time, right now, right here, right now, and the time is right here for y'all to freaking learn how to grit every shot while you're fading. So if you're new, make sure the like button is blue. Turn on post on music too. Make sure you drop a sub to it. mean a lot, bro. Make sure you're not all notifications are all notifications, man. Share this video if the video is helpful, man. Let me know if you drop a like up and another on if this video is helpful. And let's get straight into this video. So basically, um, basically, Sorry, so I'm a little sick. If y'all saw my video, I am just a little sick for you for me, but we live in now, y'all. I mean, so look, first thing for this fading, right? For, if you want to grade every single fade or at least be consistent with your fades, bro. The first thing right here, bro. Now, I am a 97. You at least need, this is from my perspective, bro. You at least need, if you want to fade for the three consistently, you at least need like an 80, 80, 85 and up three pointer, bro. Because. Three point rating is, is gonna be a big difference, big a big part of this fading, right? This is the 85 three point above. I don't know about 80, because my my, my I used to build I've been trying to fade with them, but in the mid range and the, even with the mid range, but it's just not, you know what I'm saying? I can't really fade. Unless I have shot takeover, then yeah. But this fading will work with all takeovers, bro. So you get the takeover meter active, your boy your your um your um what's it called? Your shot, your 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 takeover will boost your stats. So you have a higher three point, you have a higher chance of um fading with it's freaking fade, okay? Every, you know what I'm saying? And y'all wanna greet every single fade, man. Y'all just, y'all just, y'all just bear with me, okay? So look, bro. After that, what you're gonna need is difficult shots of Hall of Fame. Y'all already know, y'all need difficult shots Hall of Fame, man. I need the Hall of Fame, and y'all need the Raiders Center Hall of Fame. At least difficult shots go or Raiders Center go if y'all want to fade deep. Y'all wanna fade deep, doesn't matter if y'all wanna fade mid-range, y'all can put these down, y'all can fade mid-range shots only. Now, the last thing y'all would need to, to freaking fade consistently, all right. This is good. This is an important part right here. You guys do not want to miss this, bro. You gotta need Steph Curry dribble pull up. This is the best dribble pull up for fades, bro. I am tired now. This is the best dribble for players, bro. It's been solid since 2K17. This is the last how long I've been having my own system actually playing. You feel me? And shooting with this pull up, but this is the best freaking pull up ever, bro. All right, that's what you need to, to freaking shoot consistently. Now, this the straight okay. The stops, this this play, the gameplay that I had when I was fading, it didn't save because storage or whatever. So the end my machine, so I to go back to my machine, find it, but I can see where I was grinning fades with my shot. You know what I'm saying? My shot came from three pointer when I had takeover, even without takeover. Now look, bro. Once I have the badges on, once I had a dribble pull up on, and y'all had a three pointer straight. Let's let's. I'm gonna show y'all how to consistently freaking green on freaking your stretch. Sharp to facilitator, it doesn't matter. If you have a sharp to facilitator stretch, play, play side, as long as you have an 85 plus three, you're gonna be straight, all right? So give me a second, so let's load into this thing real quick. So, now, fading, bro, in this game, fading, there's different type of animations and there's different, you know what I'm saying, different, you know what I'm saying, green windows or windows for you to shoot in each spot on this court. So look, we're gonna start off the mid-range. Close side mid-range, now close side mid-range, it doesn't give Steph Curry dribble pull up. It just gives uh, the default animation dribble pull up. It's close shot. So I'm gonna show you right here, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot a close shot. It's the same animation for everybody when you shoot a close close shot. All right. So now, it's just based on how your jump shot is. If you want to time this, bro. Okay. So close shots. What you guys want to do? I'm gonna just show you. I'm gonna close shot and then I'm gonna go to deep mid range and going to uh, you know what I'm saying deep three. You know what I'm saying? It'll be more helpful with shot take or sharp take. So look, close shot. You see my player is double clutching, right? Now, if I close out the other side, the right side, if you if you fade close out the right side, look, it's a different animation. Look, we're gonna do it again. Double clutching. Now, I'm guessing you gotta hold it long to green, but if you just time it good and get sliding areas, you're gonna hit whites with this if you're wide open, bro. Or depending on how close you are. And then we're gonna go to the left side and, and close side. Let's look, let's see. 
gives me a different animation. Same thing, but I feel like the left side is harder to time because like, you know what I'm saying, your player's doing a whole different animation. You feel me? And look, we can go over here again. Look at that. It gives you more stiff animation, like you jump higher, you you know what I'm saying, your player's floating in the air. And all that. So I, so I, I suggest, you know what I'm saying, fading a little deeper in the range if I want to fade deeper in the range. But otherwise, on the right side, it's the best way to do close shots, you feel me? Unless you're super close, you'll probably, you hit most of the white, you feel me? Unless you're not cold. Now, y'all see the animations right there? So that's kind of harder to time, but the easier way to time this, with a step curve pull up is deep is deep range, alright? So we're gonna go to deep range and mid range, bro. So look. We're gonna start for the right side and then we're gonna go top of the key, you feel me? But look, oh yeah, I forgot to show y'all. The close side and the top of the key. Hold on, let me show y'all this real quick. Right here. You float like that. So you know what I'm saying? It's different animations at different spots, you feel me? I just gotta, you know what I'm saying, learn the timing in there. I, timing is like really weird in that. So I can't I'm just here to show y'all deep range, you know what I'm saying? Timing. The greenery fade. So look, we go to the right side three. And I'm gonna go, keep going from wing, you know what I'm saying, toward. Look at that green. Now, how to green this consistently, bro? And my court is on uh, Hall of Fame, chat. My court is on Hall of Fame. This is not cap. This is not cap. My court is Hall of Fame, bro. Now look, bro. How to green this? So basically, when you're shooting, you wanna um, look for Steph Curry's wrist, all right? This is a wrist timing. Now, the wrist timing might tweak a little bit, okay? But if you release it at the right time, like a little bit early when Steph Curry releases the ball, you're gonna get a green image. So look, we're gonna try it again. Look at that. Look at that. Green. All right. Now I suggest that when y'all uh when y'all fade, when y'all turbo boost to the corner, let go before you shoot it because it gives you a better animation when you green. See, look, I just green three shots in a row. You feel me? That's what I'm saying. Play shots, play shots, and sharp field and stretch are made for freaking fading because they have a high three point rating. So you need to, this gives in the corner is I feel like it's the best way to fade because it gives you a high three point uh green window when you uh, fade in the corner. I did a different animation right there because I was holding the wrong. But yeah, that's the corner shot. I'm gonna try to green one for time for y'all. Y'all just gotta see the timing. Y'all can uh slow the video down if y'all wanna see the timing real quick. Look at that. It's kind of it's kind of like the overhead overhead wrist jump shot. So like if the rest doesn't work for y'all, overhead it. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to look. I'm gonna try to overhead it one more time. Hold on. I think it's overhead. But last time I shot it in different spots, it's gonna be a different timing. So yeah, it's overhead. In the corner, it's overhead timing. Overhead timing will go to green every single time in overhead. All right, now look. We finna go to uh we finna fade to the left. So if we're starting the corner fade to the left for the wing. Look at that. It's a different animation. I still made it, okay? So this 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 animation right here is gonna be a wrist timing. Because he's fading off balance. So your player is fading off balance. This is gonna be a wrist timing right here. So let me go over here, you know what I'm saying? Look at that. It's gonna be a wrist timing. Still making it. You're gonna hit a lot of whites on that spot if you have a hot spot. You know what I'm saying? And if you have takeover, you should be able to green that, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Timing like that. You know what I'm saying? But that, yeah, I'm telling you, as we go on, it's gonna be different animations. So we're gonna just try to get a green right here real quick. Now just watch the timing. Look, I pull up like that. You could do a pull up too. It's gonna be green, y'all. Tell you how this now. Now look, top of the key. I'm gonna show you the top of the key right here. You know what I'm saying? Different pull ups. I'm telling you. In each spot, it's gonna be different pull ups. You feel me? Different type of animations you're gonna get for fading, bro. All I'm telling you is you just gotta time your fade, bro. That's the easiest way to, you know what I'm saying, green. You gotta time your fade. You know what I'm saying? Easy like that. Now, mid-rangers, I, I, I think I skipped mid-rangers off fault, y'all. Mid-rangers, you know what I'm saying? Deep mid-rangers gonna give you the same animations as three-point animations e each side, too. Like, each side of the court. It's not close shots, so, so I'm gonna do, you know what I'm saying, mid-rangers. I feel like if y'all wanna, you know what I'm saying, get y'all, get your hot, take over. It's like you start uh, fading on mid-rangers like that, because you feel me? Nobody really fades in this game, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? I should start fading more, but yeah, you get the same animation deep mid ranges, bro. You know what I'm saying? I think right side is the best way to fade. You know what I'm saying? All the way the court, we're gonna go right here. You're gonna get the same animation right here on left side, green, you feel me? Left wing, left wing is a good way to fade too, because you know what I'm saying? You get a look, better look at your player's timing, and <clears throat> I think it feels like it's a high green, high green one right there. Now, the right corner, left corner, it's the same animation, but just you, you know what I'm saying? You're floating a little bit. Look, green. I'm telling y'all, chat. Now, I wanna, cause y'all gotta time. Your fades, bro. If y'all want to green consistently, I gotta time your fades. I'm telling you this now. Look at this chat. Look at that, bro. Especially when we have takeover, you're gonna be unstoppable, man. And I think when you have takeover, you're gonna have more range. So you can fade from deep, you feel me? And you can hit shots like this. Like that. You feel me? But yeah, man. <clears throat> that's pretty much it, chat. Like, you feel me? That's how you really fade consistently. It's all about your timing, you know what I'm saying? It's all about your three-point rating, your badges, you know what I'm saying? The dribble pull-up you have, your consistency, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's pretty much it for the video. That's that's really how to fade consistently, bro. I'll try, I'll try to make a part two of this. If y'all want a part two, I'll get some gameplay of me fading. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to take over and all that. If y'all want that, let me know in the comment section, bro. But yeah, bro, if, if this video really helped y'all out, bro, you know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comment section, bro. It don't mean a lot. Really a lot. If y'all would just leave a like, subscribe, 
make sure notifications and notifications man share this video it will mean a lot bro if y'all just you know what i'm saying drop a sub for me drop a like if yeah, this video was helpful for y'all man but that's pretty much it for the video man um jt i love y'all man bagger videos coming consistently for this for this for these couple days you feel me and um yeah it's your boy dream man dream team i'm out man i love y'all appreciate y'all watching this video it's your boy dream i'm out peace